the guys I work with personally during the season uh, help take care of my body. And put us through a great workout today. So everybody's been working. Mac put us. Through. It wasn't an easy workout. We ran, we did a lot of you know strenuous drills. You know to where we were working smart work. But we're getting back out here now and we're catching routes and doing things that, you know, everybody excited to do, catch the football and see a football in your hand. So, um, you know, once again, thanks to Mac, you know, for putting this thing together. You know, we are, you know, just trying to make something happen. Wait, how much is You know, we, we went at our own pace, but obviously guys came out here and got quality work done. Nobody's out here wasting time, and I'm sure he wouldn't want to waste our time as well. How much are you following what's going on in court per day, right? I try to follow a little bit, and, uh, I'm just a guy that stays positive. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I realize that Ray and the guys, our teammates, we can only control one thing, and that's being ready. You know, so as far as that, you know, this is great. I'm excited to be out here with the guys, running around like a little kid, get to teach a little bit. You know, I'm sure the coaches doing their homework and doing their stuff. So I get a chance to look at this tell them we out here working. As far as workouts, though, is this offseason any different for you than it has been, or more or less what? Well, it's different in terms of uh, being at the facility, but it's not different in terms of how I work. You know, I, I'm always a guy who came in the training camp ready. You know, I know how to take care of my body. And uh, that's the biggest uh, concern I'm sure people have. You know, you really don't know who's working and who's not working. But uh, I'm sure that guys having this extra time, they are working. And uh, it's one of those situations where we can only, like I said, control one thing, and that's being ready. And, uh, this is the time where, you know, it ain't training camp, it's not mini camps, but it's the team getting together for one reason, and that's to be prepared. I think us as a veteran group, we can get by within a week, just being honest, because we're not putting in a whole new offense, a whole new defense. Right. You know, our thing is going to be timing. So, two weeks essentially will get us where we need to be. But Ray, what about football shape versus just getting in shape regularly? This is just the beginning, right? It's going to have Yeah, to football shape is totally different. When you put on pads and that kind of thing, you're gonna find yourself getting more fatigued though. And that's why, you know, right now, you know, sometimes, you know, you act, sometimes I train for resistance, put on the vest, put on different things to you know, get out there. You know, the pads are actually like, you know, but there's no, you know, there's no, uh, there's no substitute for hitting in contact. You know, obviously when you get hit and get contact, your body gets tired. You know, your body tells itself, you know, I don't want to be hit anymore during training camp. Your body tells you them kind of things. So that's, the kind of the part of fatigue that you know nobody's gonna be ready for. You know, whether it's now and or training camp. You know, when you get that first contact, you find yourself getting tired fast. Ray, you talk about the things that you you say there's only one thing you can control. Is there a sense of frustration and helplessness that there's so much you can't control? No, I mean I try to stay positive. I'm just being honest. I try to stick around. You know, a lot of things I've been doing during this lockout is impacting kids' lives. You know, and I don't even preach NFL to them. You know, I preach school. I preach daily life to them. You know, where I'm at in my career, you know, obviously I'm able to impact these kids' lives. And, you know, if let's just say if there was no more football, will I be in the Hall of Fame? You know, would I be in the uh, record books? No. But will people know Ray Rice is a great person and a great football player? Yes. And I will use that opportunity to go out and impact kids' lives and let them know that, you know, you can go out and dream. I'm, a, I'm living my dream playing football, but obviously we know the game can be taken away at any moment. So I try to stick to that nature, that kind of things, and obviously being around my teammates makes it a lot more fun. After you